Walk 8 in the Norfolk Pathfinder series starts at the Norfolk Wildlife Trust East Retham Heath Nature Reserve and follows a trail through this wildlife rich area, past Langmere and into the remote stretch of Thetford Forest. The forest track eventually leads to a short road section and past the Devil's Punch Bowl. The return back to East Retham Heath follows several miles of forestry commissioned tracks through mixed and pine woodland to the southern side of the reserve with additional opportunities to see the rare and interesting wildlife before returning to the car park. Norfolk Wildlife Trust own and manage East Retham Heath Nature Reserve, providing ample parking and an information board by the entrance. There's details on the wildlife you may encounter on your visit, as well as a brief history of the Brex and a small trail map around the reserve. Entering via the Kissing Gate, the route heads west, following a series of posts along a grassy path. The open grassland here is home to plenty of rabbits, but look out for stoats as they hunt and scamper across the fields. Continuing through a second gate, the path passes remnants of a World War II airfield, with several buildings and remains still visible. It was built and put into service in 1940 as a satellite station for Honington, just a few miles south of Thetford. Pilots and aircraft from this airfield assisted with the D-Day landings and the Battle of the Bulge. Nestled close to the ruins is a large bird hide, which is definitely worth a stop to view out over Langmere to spot some of the rare wildlife in the area. We were lucky enough to see several little grebes and some lapwing chicks. What is unique about this lake and many others in the local area is that there is no inflow or outflow of water. The level is entirely dependent on the water table. The route leaves the nature reserve to join East Harling Drove, a track used by the nearby military during training exercises. The drove itself is potentially a prehistoric trackway that crossed the Breckland landscape with dozens of Mesolithic finds recorded in the area dating back thousands of years. East Harling Drove eventually arrives at a road which is followed briefly to a left turn next to the Devil's Punch Bowl. This large oval mere also has fluctuating water levels and was formed when the chalk bedrock eroded over millions of years and eventually collapsed creating the depression we can see today. The area is a site of special scientific interest due to the rare flora and fauna. From the Devil's Punch Bowl, the route follows a path through the forest to cross a minor road and join Forestry Commission tracks through a large swathe of Thetford Forest. 
You may be lucky enough to see some deer roaming in the woodlands or squirrels darting up the trees. Almost two miles of walking through the forest, the track rejoins East Harling Drove and turns right to head along the southern edge of East Retham Heath. There's numerous opportunities to stop and look over parts of Langmere, the best being by the memorial to Sidney Herbert Long, who was the founder of the Norfolk Naturalist Trust. Continuing further along East Harling Drove, the route heads through a gate just by the main road to cross the vast open grassland back to the start of the walk. If you're enjoying this video then please hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell to keep up to date. And if you'd like more information just leave a comment below.